Hello, Prison Times Linux here. Theme in Trinity is what the plan is. So I need to install some stuff here, don't I? Or do I? Yep, because uh, 1920 by 1080 isn't there. Um, 690 by 1050 or so, so. If you don't mind that kind of resolution, we'll leave it at that. That'll just save me installing the tools. Okay, A2 Theme Trinity, and it's actually a two stage job. Um, and the reason for that is because we've got Q3, which is Trinity, and we got, um, where are those, those fronts are bloody huge. Was I messing about with it before? I think I might have been. Because uh, we got Q3, rather right, not Q4, Q3 on Trinity. And we got Q, and we got GTK 2 and 3 to work through. And possibly even Q5. Mm. So anyway, if we go to the appearance and desktops here. As you can see, we do have themes, uh, theme manager even. And at the bottom here, you can see we got create new theme. So we can create new theme. Uh, uh, yeah, Ali, an email. Uh, uh, just use my throwaway one. Now you can use that to contact me if you wish. And, uh, yeah. This is only if I'm gonna. Put it out anyway, so Trinity dot IPC Linux OS dot com. Uh, for YouTube. Okay, your theme is that steam did not show this message again. So it's in a dot Trinity share apps. And you can see it there, my theme, right? So you've taken a little screenshot of it, but that's my theme at the moment, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, if I can go out of this. Now, that is how to save a theme by looks of it. For some reason, it's using a massive... So just a screen capture because it's got my clock in there but, and everything else so yeah I can use that as my theme actually. Rather cool. But we do have everything so supposing you've not oh, yeah. So we can customize the theme, we've got all the stuff along the bottom here. So we've got the background which is picture 800 by 600 for some stupid reason. So we can choose a different wallpaper if you want, uh, like airplane for instance. But someone said dark theme, so I'll use a light wallpaper. So we'll do that. Boom, done. Colours. Now colours is where the dark theming comes in, because this is where you're going to um, have to get things right. So I've maximised it, and I'm unsure if I can bring that down, no I can't. So you can click or use this here for every single element as you can see, right? So we'll do the scheme next. Uh, I mean I've got PC Trinity theme and if I apply that, boom, you can see that I've got the dark blue theme and all that business. This is one of the themes I made for it, he's lost Trinity. But we want to do something else now, so if we do the standard background we can see it's white. And we want to darken that a bit, so I'm just darkening it. I'm not going to be like polishing this or anything, but I'm just going to darken everything. Like boom, click over there, click okay there, and apply. And you can see this outer window here, or inner window, I should say, has uh, nicely darkened. Okay, so that's the standard background. Window background, which is this silver. 
we can also darken that down a bit and apply that and now as you can see um, a lot of it has gone dark we still have some silver elements here up to you whether you want to change those elements but we can do the uh, push button now you can see that the font is black at the minute so the moment I choose black eye on here or close to black yeah boom bye bye but we can do the button tick so we can change that to a whiter colour let's bring that up a bit and we can just keep on doing that and of course we can um, change the uh, total bar as well active window we can have that as dark as you like although I think that's pretty nice as it is to be honest okay as for the panel the panel gets a different thing so we can save that screen as a PC loss uh, dark okay so what else do we have we have the uh, buttons active title button and uh, of course all these should change color but they are digital the buttons so we can darken them as well we could actually I could actually make that black uh, not quite sure how well it would look but we'll find out <coughs> Oh, you can see that all the buttons here have turned nice and black although those haven't the close minimize and restore now I'm not sure whether there is a button for that yeah it's called cool actually total button but yeah for some reason it hasn't gone black but these buttons here have now gone black but to me they're a bit too black so let's uh, do a McGray. Okay. Um. Oh, that's all because I don't have anything black there, did not. Okay, let's put a bit more grey. And it's looking a bit misty, uh, foggy. To me, maybe. Uh, it says apply colors to non TDE applications, so that's ticked. Um, we can do the selected text here to make it a bit more um, royal. Let's darken that a bit. Boom. Apply that. Uh -huh. uh, actually, what I should do is. Um, Let's see that selected text again. Selected text background. Let's tick on that one more time. Colour chooser and this time I'm actually going to pick the colour of the bar. There we go. Boom. Actually that's quite nice. Okay. Uh, the push button is still black. For me it's a bit too dark, so um what colour could I actually make it? I don't know why that colour there on the pull down is a bit thingy, but I'll get to that in a minute. lightened it just a bit on the background buttons <coughs> okay let's uh, save that a minute so that screen as a PC loss dark collect me to override it has okay so we've got PC loss dark so far so let's see how that works out with the thing there. I've not touched the bottom bar yet. Okay, so that's quite bright. 
uh, create new thing. Now you can see down here, these buttons down here don't have white writing on. Although these do, so I'm just wondering how to get the white writing on that. So it's my thing too. I'm just going to save it as that for a minute. Okay, so my theme too. There we go, because it was showing the uh, other one as well. So, well, right, apply them. Subdate. Okay, so we now got a uh, simple. Yeah, let's click that out, and we're missing some icons here. I have noticed. So we need to go back in, appearance icons, crystal LCV updated will do, apply them, let's see if that's helped, no, why am I not got, oh I have confused myself now. A plain single colored. Okay. For some reason, there, yeah, I don't have. Now that is interesting look you. Why am I missing icons? Well, it's definitely an icon there. So let's go back into this remote. Yeah, all the icons seem like mad and my fonts are mad and the icons are definitely loopy there. Uh, am I allowed to control plus two? Okay, so I can get the icons up there, but that writing is ridiculous. Okay, so uh, I keep hitting the wrong button there, don't I? Okay, um, fonts. Oh no, they're all on space 10, system settings, support DPI 96, let's try that, apply, boom. Okay. I have evidently been playing with this and uh, I do not know what I have done. So what I'm going to do actually is restart. Just in case I had a bad boot, which you know, it happens. Because there, it happens. And then back to the by 600, okay. Yeah, and I icons are really tiny on the desktop any way to make them bigger okay uh, let's just do what I was going to do although the font seems to have sorted themselves out on the desktop now that was really strange so we'll install VirtualBox. <clears throat> After which we can, um, we'll have a go at doing the panel and uh, see so if we can get the rest of those icons a bit better. I'm not quite sure why the desktop icons are so teeny weeny. So we'll know that the modules are fine once uh, the screen resizes itself. Uh, 
or should do, one would hope. You know, it just take a bit of a while, this. There we go, job done. So we have that. Okay, and it was probably me forcing the DPI actually on the front, so let's see if that is the case. Uh, appearance and themes, fonts. DPI disable that. Apply. Okay. Just enable them. Apply. Okay, so we've got general fixed return and desktop serif. So I can choose them and make them a bit bigger, I guess. Which I have. Uh, icons. Which is crystal advanced. Just up for one, just size 16. Let's make them 20, uh, 32 or even 48. Why not? Let's apply that. Well, that's a bit better. Um, that too small, you think? Uh, we can animate the icons as well. Uh, double size pixels. That's a bit too much. So, we're getting the desktop sorted. Uh, and while we're there, we can sort the icons. Horizontally or vertically, boom. Oh, I like quite horizontal actually. Uh, the icons are 16 on the toolbar, which is fine. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Now this is pretty hard to read down the side here, so... We can go to colours. And we can click the window text here, which is black, and we can... Brighten that up just a little bit, I think. Let's see what that does. Lad, lad, nothing. Although it has changed that. Um, that's the window background. Window text. Window text. Ah, oh, standard text. Boom. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It was maybe the standard text that I needed to change. So we've got theme manager again, and we can uh, create a new theme. Uh, my theme three. I'm just going to do it as that. Okay. I've noticed that the pop up box was a bit dark. Like this here, and that's because I've got the colours wrong on that font. Obviously, so come on now, get up there. Oh, wait, that's the background. <laughs> Oops, yeah, window background. Oops, my bad. That's darkened a little bit, isn't it? Uh, what was I after? Oh yeah, window text, there we go. That's what I was after. Okay, so that's done the colour scheme and that. Um, that's also window text, that is top I know what I'm after, I just can't think of the bloody name of it, Ali. Hmm. 
Okay, let's brighten that up just a little bit. Uh, selected text. That's quite white already. Push button text. A bit, bit brighter, I think. There we go, for the button text. Okay, so we can save that screen. Well, I think I've done it. Yep. So, let's go back to the theme manager a mail. Oh, that's better, I can actually see that writing down here now, so that's actually alright, so um, we can uh, install new thing, no create it that's my thing for can write the rest in afterwards ok, so that's cool uh, that's took me straight back to my theme, which is my usual theme. So we click that now, and I click to apply. And as you can see, uh, apart from the, for some reason on the bottom there, the uh, taskbar has got a bit ape. No, it hasn't. It's back now. Just took a bit longer to redraw. And this icon up here, which it seems to be panning the back side on Trinity, and it is okay. I should be able to uh, configure the panel appearance. Now I know this isn't perfect. I know this touches up to do like the grayness of this that kind of thing, and that's fine. So colorize to my screen. Apply that. Uh, what about if you uncolorize it? Silver. Actually, that might not be too bad. We could just colorize it. Okay, so that's what we got so far. So that basically is how you make a theme for Trinity. Um, I'm not quite sure whether you can. Now you've noticed I haven't really touched the font sizes for in apps, but it's all in here for the toolbar, the menu, the window title, blah blah. You get it all. Uh, window stars on fonts, you can use the TDK. So what happens if I use a TDK app? And I'm just wondering what I can use for a TDK app. Uh, yeah, let's this load of pigeon and as you can see it's using the trinity colours and it's definitely GTK now Paul's audio I have no idea no that seems to be using um, GTK3 so I'm pretty sure we can use um, Hmm, I don't seem to have it installed. Uh. Okay, let's see if that helps. Let me uh, try that. Again, bring up Pulse Audio. Uh, it seems to have darkened it, but kind of weird in a weird way it really has kind of made it a weird way yeah okay so if we uh, turn that off again let's use another store have we got a way to dark we do let's apply that and uh Actually, we could do that for both of them, actually. Uh, 
and White Dark. Because the White Dark isn't that far off this to be fair. So let's see what happens now when I ask for Pulse Audio. Ah, oh, there we go. In fact, it's a lot darker. And maybe with that there, we could match the scene background. Okay, let's let's try that on the colours. Right, boom, that one there. Let's turn the background. We'll get our uh, little... Where is it? Right there. And apply. Well, that's done now. So what else do I need now? I need that colour there. Uh, shade greens. Hang on. I need that up. I don't know what I've done with the icon for the... Um, Okay, that's, that's better matching. Okay, let's uh, save scoop as PC Lost Dark. Okay. That to me doesn't look too bad. So yeah, as I was saying, that's basically how you um, theme the desktop. Of course, like, there will be instances where it doesn't copy over for whatever reason. Some applications, that seems to happen in every DE and I don't know why. Covering. Even the background on caffeine isn't obeying, so I'm not quite sure what that is, and of course I've got to sort out the icons. Hmm. But anyway, that's roughly how you do it. Um, probably needs to restart the... Uh, refresh the desktop. So that's basically how you see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and... Uh, I'll see you all again soon. If you liked the video, thumbs up. Like, don't like it, thumbs down. And uh, yeah, all good. See you all again soon. Take care.